Hello everybody, um, my name is David Sokolov and this is going to be a curriculum regarding an introduction to triangles such as different types of triangles and this is mainly meant for students between a third and the fifth grade, so third, fourth, and fifth graders. Alright, let's move on. So um, in this lesson, students will learn what triangles are and how to identify different types of triangles and we're going to talk about the different types of triangles we're going to cover in just a second in the next slide. And the main skill that will be acquired is identifying different types of triangles which is really the foundation of harder mathematical uh, subjects such as geometry. So this is the most important part before we can move on to more challenging concepts. Okay. So, what is a triangle? The definition of a triangle is a shape that has three sides and three angles. So here you can see, all right? Here you can see that this shape has three sides. So this line here, this line here, and this line here, and three angles. And an angle is just anything between two sides. So one angle here, another angle here, and another angle here. Also, triangles have a total of 180 degrees, so this angle plus this angle plus this angle have to equal 180 degrees, and it is important to remember that for the future slides and uh, the future triangles that we'll talk about. And just a fun fact regarding triangles, triangles are the strongest shape on the planet, and they're, they're used in construction and different things, and that is just a fun fact that can be interesting to remember. All right, let's move on. So, um, this curriculum is going to be divided into two sections. The first section of the lesson is going to be around equilateral, isosceles, and scaling triangles. Then we're going to pause, take, uh, try and answer a question just to check your understanding. And then we'll move on to the second section of the lesson, which is going to talk about right, acute, and obtuse triangles. All right, so let's just jump right in. And the first triangle we're going to talk about is an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a triangle where all sides are equal. So this side right here is equal to that side right there and equal to this side right here. And since all of those sides are equal, the angles, these angles right here, also have to be equal. And if you remember, we just said that a triangle is 180 degrees, and if all sides are, all angles are equal, then uh, 180 divided by 3 is 60. So each one of these angles is 60 degrees. And that's something that occurs in every single equilateral triangle and can never change. So these three things right here, where all sides are equal, all angles are equal, and each angle is 60 degrees. And why, one way to remember this is remembering that equilateral sort of sounds like equal. So equal means that all angles are equal and all sides are equal. So just try and remember this little trick to remember what an equilateral triangle is. All right, let's move on. The next triangle we're talking about is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is any triangle with two equal sides. So here in this picture, you can tell this side right here is equal to that side right there. And since these sides are equal, this is an isosceles triangle. And it doesn't really matter what this side is. As long as we have two equal sides, that's an equilateral triangle. An isosceles triangle, sorry. Next, we have uh, that an isosceles triangle has two equal angles. And these angles are going to be these two right here. So between one of the equal sides and the other side. So if you have two equal angles and two uh, equal sides, then you have an isosceles triangle. And you can see here, those angles are equal. Next, let's talk about scaling triangles. And a scaling triangle is very different from the other two. A scaling triangle is any triangle where every side has a different length. So this side right here, has a different length than this side right here and a different length than this side right here which you can't see very well but there's a side right there so for example if this side was eight inches this side 
be three inches and this side would be six inches for example so each side has a different length and since each side has a different length um, each angle will also have a different length so this angle can be 30 degrees this angle can be let's say 100 degrees and this angle can be 50 degrees and all three of those will add up to 100 of course and since it has three different sides three different length sides and three different angles then this is an scaling triangle okay so this is our first check for understanding and in these sections i'm gonna give you a question which you can see right here i'll in the image you'll have a couple of options and you're supposed to answer the question so the question is which type of triangle is the triangle below you can see the triangle this triangle here has three inches three inches and three inches so pause the video and answer the question to the best of your ability and it should just be one of these options all right i assume you did that and let's just walk uh through this question so since each one of these sides is three inches long, and we know that a triangle with three equal sides is an equilateral triangle. So we know it's not this one, it's not this one, and it's not this one. So it has to be equilateral, since three inches equals three inches, which equals three inches. So the answer is equilateral, which is A. And don't worry if you didn't get the question right. We're going to have a couple more opportunities to answer uh, another question. So no worries. And if you ha had any problems with it, just rewatch uh, the part of the video where I explain what the tri types of triangles are. All right. So let's move on. Oh, never mind. I skipped too far. So our next triangle is a right triangle. And a right triangle is any triangle with a right angle. And a right angle is 90 degrees, which can be either written out like this or have the number with a little dot symbol on top. And here is an example of a right triangle. So this triangle here has three sides, obviously, because it's a triangle and then a right, right angle. And a right angle is always symbolized with a little square. So if you see a, a little square, you know that that angle is a right angle and that it is 90 degrees. And another important piece of information is that a triangle, a right triangle can only have one 90 degree angle. Actually, all triangles can have one, nine, can only have one 90 degree angle. So you can never have a triangle with more than one of these little boxes. And, the, and if you notice, the, a box like this is only put there when this line goes straight up from the this side. So if this side goes straight up from this side, you know that there's a 90 degree angle. If it goes a little bit to, um, in one direction or the other, then it's not a 90 degree angle. And it's a different type of angle that we'll discuss soon. Which, actually, now we're moving on to that. So, um, acute triangles is our next type of triangle. And the definition of an acute triangle, is of an acute angle, is anything less than 90 degrees. So, here you can tell in this acute picture that this angle is less than 90 degrees because if it was 90 degrees, it will go straight up and there will be a little box. But since it goes to the side, it's less than 90 degrees. And so now that we know what an acute triangle is, we can define what, a, what, an acute, what an acute angle is. We can define what an acute triangle is. And an acute triangle is a triangle whose angles are all less than 90 degrees. And you can see th this picture right here. So this angle is less than 90 degrees and say, 80 is less than 90. This angle is less than 90 because uh, 30 is less than 90. And this angle right here, which would be 70 degrees, is also less than 90. So it's an acute triangle, as an acute angle. So since this angle, this angle, and this angle are all uh, acute angles, this is an acute triangle. All right, let's move on. Our final 
triangle is actually an obtuse triangle. And before describing what an obtuse triangle is, let's just talk about what an obtuse angle is. And an obtuse angle is any angle that is greater than 90 degrees, which is the same thing as saying greater than a right angle. So in this triangle, which is an obtuse triangle, you can see an obtuse angle, since a 90 degree angle will be an angle formed by going straight up from this side. And since this is bigger, this is an obtuse angle. So now that we know what an obtuse angle is, let's talk about what an obtuse triangle is. An obtuse triangle is any triangle with an obtuse angle. So you have one angle that is more than 90 degrees, you have an obtuse triangle. And this is an example of one because this angle is less than 90, this angle is less than 90, and this angle is more than 90 degrees. Okay, let's review real quick. We talked about equilateral, isosceles, scalene, right, and acute, and obtuse triangles. And I'm just going to give you a quick definition of each of these one more time. And I recommend that you stop the video, try and define them uh, before before me, and then check, check your work. So an equilateral triangle is any triangle with three equal sides and three equal angles, but the important thing is three equal sides. An isosceles triangle is any triangle with two equal sides and two equal angles. A scaling triangle is a triangle with three sides that are complete that have completely different lengths and completely different angles so one side is three inches the other is four and the other is five so each one of those sides is different a right triangle is any triangle with a 90 degree angle an acute triangle is any triangle with three angles that are less than 90 degrees and then the obtuse triangle is any triangle with one angle that is greater than 90 degrees Alright, so we have one more check for understanding before the end of the lesson. And this one, you, again, you get a question, you get a picture, I even give you a couple little hints here, and you answer the question. Just But remember to pause the video, and after you pause the video, answer the question, and then replay it, and I will explain the answer. Alright, I'll assume you, you guys did that. And I'll just walk you through the question. So the question is, what type of triangle is a triangle below? And here you can see a triangle, a green triangle, and an arrow that says that this angle right here, which is marked with a square, is 90 degrees. And if you remember, any triangle that has a 90 degree angle, which is the same as a right angle, is a right triangle. So the answer choice C is the correct one. This triangle is a right triangle. And good job. If you answered it, no worries. If you didn't, just rewatch the video. So uh, here are a couple additional links. This is a fun game where you make a bunch of triangles, and I enjoyed playing it myself. And this is a, a video explaining triangles a little bit more if you're interested. And if you're interested, just play these games, watch these videos. They're very informative. So in conclusion, just, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. Hello, my name is David Sokolov, and I'm currently li living in Oregon. And in my free time, I enjoy biking and jogging with my dog, Rosie, and watching historical TV shows. And my current favorite one is the English game. And 